Hi, lovely people. I'm Roxanne with Baker's Acres Homestead, and uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing today. Um, I um, actually have been um, transplanting my tomato starts into cups just so that they could get um, bigger, fuller, stronger root system and grow bigger before I plant them into the garden for our fall garden this year. So uh, let me share those with you. So here's my tomatoes. 36 tomato plants. And I have yellow pears and pink bumblebees, purple Russians, Dad Sunset, Rebecca Allen, and Bonnie Best. And there are, there are six of each variety that I have planted here. Um, I don't have room for that many tomatoes in my garden, but um, I wanted to make sure I had extras just in case some didn't make it. Or um, if I had to, after I planted in the garden, if some didn't transplant well or whatever and I needed to replant, I have extras to replace so um, yeah I've just been out here in my happy place again getting to plant more plants and start more plants and uh, it's really exciting and um, I've never done a fall garden before so this is my first year actually doing a fall garden which is exciting because I will get to have more food and um, plant stuff for even longer this year and um, just get more out of that which is is really exciting to me. Um, I love being able to grow food for the family and to provide off of our land so so yeah that's that's exciting and I'm, I'm really excited to um, do a fall garden for the first time this year. Um, so uh, let me come over here and share with you guys. Oh my tomato plants as you see I just have these little um, markers in them right now telling me what each six are but um, in a minute I'm going to dry off the water off of each of these cups and then I will take these labels here and peel them off and um, set them on the cups and then use a sharpie to write what they are and um, that way, I don't have to buy cups, new cups each year, or um, waste my cups and throw them away. I can just use a label, stick it on the cup, write what it is, and then when that cup is done, when I'm done with that cup, I could just peel the label off and it'll be ready for a new label next year, or the next time that I um, get ready to plant something in that cup. So, um, also over here, but right here, I have peppers planted, six different pepper varieties, sweet chocolate, golden Cal wonder, or golden California wonder, lilac bell pepper, uh, Craig's jalapeno, poblano, and banana pepper. And pretty soon I will um, transplant those into cups as well to grow bigger, stronger root systems and just be able to have room to grow a little more before I plant them in the garden so that they're stronger and more established before going into the garden. And here I have um, all my brassicas. My Brussels sprout, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower. Um, I have those planted in there waiting to sprout. And um, as soon as they come up and get more established, like my peppers and my tomatoes over there, then I will also do the same with them and transplant them into cups so that they can grow and become stronger as well before going um, straight to the garden. And um, I'm also going to plant some, some more lettuce for the fall garden, um, spinach for the fall garden, um, carrots and radishes, and really just anything that likes cooler weather. I had planted all that kind of stuff in the spring when it was cooler, but I think I waited too long and it just um, 
it came up but it didn't have enough time to really produce anything before it got too hot so um, I know the peppers and tomatoes they do like warmer weather but we have such a long growing season here in our area that um, we will be able to get another um, planting of them uh, before it gets too cool for them to produce and do anything so that's why I'm doing peppers and tomatoes I those were the first things that I started before I started anything else for the fall garden that way they have time to get established and I can go ahead and get them into the garden to start growing and um, and taking off before it gets too cold so uh, yeah guys um, and in this video I will um, also share um, transplanting the um, peppers as well when I get um, when I get around to doing that so after this it will be another day of me um, transplanting my peppers and in that section of this video I will also share um, a progress on my tomatoes that I planted well guys I'll see you um, in a few days Okay, so here you are about a week and a half later because, uh, you know, farm life, homestead life, just gets busy sometimes and uh, things get pushed off. But I am here to do my peppers now, so uh, I'm excited to get them in these cups and get them growing stronger uh, for the garden. So uh, let me show you what I'm doing. So here's my cups. As you can see, they've already got some soil in them. I like to put soil in them before I put the peppers in. That way it just gives them like a foundation to be in for the roots to grow into when I put the peppers or whatever I'm planting into them. And I've already watered it down. That way when I plant the peppers into each cup, as I'm doing others, the ones that I've already planted aren't stressed in dry soil. They have water to uh, soak up. So uh, I'm going to get the planting. And there's my peppers. I'm going to transfer all of those over here into these. Uh, so uh, I'll take you guys along as I do this and uh, then I'll give you an update on my tomatoes.
guys. So there they are, all planted, all 32 peppers. I've got a um, we've got banana peppers and poblanos and jalapenos and uh, sweet chocolate pepper, golden cow wonders, um, and uh, lilac bell peppers. So, um, six different varieties and about uh, five or six of each of them. So, uh, we will um, leave them in these pots until they get a little stronger, um, a little um, bigger root systems, and uh, then we will plant them into the garden. So I'm just going to um, water these now, give them some more water, top them off with some water, um, just so that they have a good drink and they're not too stressed in this heat, and um, then I will give you that update on my tomatoes. I'll let you see how those tomatoes are doing. Oh, and uh, talking about the heat, I wanted to mention that you may hear kind of a roaring sound in the background of this video. It is that fan that I have running over there because it's hot out here. You may see some of the sweat on my face or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty warm. We're in the 90s here in um, uh, but today it's like a feel like of 105, I believe. So it's pretty warm. I'm sweating and, and um, yeah, out here working. But uh, I'm in the shade under our carport and I've got that fan blowing on me, so it's not too awfully bad. Okay, so I just got done watering my tomatoes and uh, hosing the carport off after planting the peppers. So uh, I'm going to give you guys that update on those tomatoes that I've been promising. So here you go. And here are my lovely tomatoes. Look how good they're doing. They look so great. And they've grown a ton already. Well, guys, thanks for stopping by, and God bless until next time.